welcome back to my eclectic channel. Uh, I'm going to talk about 3D printing. I've got lots of 3D printed stuff here. What is this all about? It's a bit of a crazy journey I've been on for about six months and I still haven't finished. Um, it all started, I wanted one of those kind of uh, phone holders that you can just stick in the air vents on your car. Got one that works fine for my car, but my wife's car, the air vents, the position of them is just right in front of the steering wheel. Terrible. So I went on Thingiverse, printed out this, which is you know various bits and pieces that slot together. The phone goes in here. I think there may have been another bit. Now that yeah, that goes there. I think there was another bit that went underneath, but probably got destroyed as I soon discovered this wasn't going to do the job. Um, all power to the guy who designed it. It was a, a remix from something else on Thingiverse. I seem to remember. Um, and it might work for his particular arrangement. I don't quite see how, because apparently it was for the same model of car that I was trying to solve it for. But that clearly wasn't going to work. And I sort of was thinking it would be a really simple thing, and it so wasn't. And I ended up starting to design stuff in Tinkercad. And Tinkercad, I can highly recommend. If you've not done any 3D printing, uh, 3D design, that's probably the simplest way to get started. You start off with things like cubes and spheres and glue them together and you can make stuff. So all of these bits were designed in Tinkercad. <laughs> but what's quite interesting is when you, when you start designing stuff you don't really have a good feel. Even though it gives you dimensions and you read, oh this is a millimetre and that's three millimetres and if you really thought about it, you'd realise <laughs> that this is totally unsuitable as any kind of grippy bit for a phone. The notion was that these bits could sort of, you could decide how far apart to make them go. And you get two sets of them. And a grippy bit that goes on here, you can see this is all broken. And that then could be gripped by something that you could slot into the vent. Yeah, these kinds of things. So, you know, get a couple of them gripping on, on the vents. And again, the first version I came up with had a, a kind of bit sticking out here in the hope of making it grip. You can see, I have a long thumbnail, by the way, because I play guitar, just saying. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, you know, I kind of thought that was a bit unnecessary. And what you find is when you printing, that was printed that way up, um, so there was support under here. It just makes a horrible, nasty mess. It doesn't make it as nice as if you print it straight onto the bed. And and so what this is about is iteration. It's about just having one go at designing something and finding particularly... For me, this is it's like my first experience, really, of 3D printing. And you print out stuff, and it's like... You, I had no idea that, that was what I designed. It's so not fit for purpose, it's comical. 